Sure. So the, through, through the governor's leadership, we were able to secure funds to be able to produce this building um, to, to meet a number of needs for our firefighter training. We, we're increasing our number of firefighters that we're training each year, uh, and this just creates a lot more efficient system. It's $5.5 million dedicated to this project, and it took about two years to build. However, uh, a number of years of concepts to design it, what we should have, what we need to have, and our, and our folks uh, from the past have, have helped contribute to that, even those that have already retired. Correct. Uh, this summer, we were able to finalize the, uh, um, the project and be able to move our folks in to start taking classes here. Yes, we're, uh, our classrooms are typically occupancy higher than what we're using now. We're less than 50% in all of our rooms. All of our functions are less than 50% and under 50 people, no matter what we're doing. Well, it makes us think a little bit more about our personal space, as we all are learning. Um, we're able to uh, accommodate a lot of the, the, those safety features or safety needs health-wise, and um, it's just a little bit more scheduling thought, uh, cleaning thoughts, uh, and just how to, how to figure out how to adjust everybody's schedule so we're, we're not overburdening the, the building or putting people too close to others. Probably, I think there's two firefighters in the recruit class that are only that are volunteers. Um, the rest are all career firefighters who are brand new. So they're all learning how to become firefighters so they can go back to, to their home and uh, increase the safety of their home communities. It's an 11-week course, so they're, uh, they're back. Do you remember the month you started? Uh, it was um, August. August is when they started this class, so it's an 11-week course. Sure, Be because we are able to have this building as well uh, and spread out our footprint here at the fire academy, we were able to, to, to hold classes here and also in the, in the, uh, the, the original the main academy. Um, we're able to uh, sanitize stations all over the, the academy, all over the buildings. We check our, our temperatures twice a day for those that are here for 24 hours. So we're monitoring those things. We have all the procedures in place. We have isolation rooms. So should a, a recruit firefighter become sick, any kind of symptoms, we ship them away from everybody else into another area of the, of the building until we figure out where to get them tested and what to, do, what, to, what to do with them with their home fire chiefs. So they're, they're all, many of them, other than two, are all employed. So they're also under the employment of their own fire department. So we have to coordinate that with them. We'll, we'll um, restart in March, April, is when we typically start our spring class, and that may be a double session just because of numbers. Um, firefighters we need to train for the state. We do three offerings. The, in the spring is when we have the biggest number, so we'll split them into two, two cohorts to operate, uh, and they'll, they'll work opposite each other. Four days on, four days off, they'll go home, go to their own fire department, and do some training, uh, come back to us to, to, to accommodate that, that split role so we can keep them all safe. So there, it's, a, it's a tough job. A lot of training goes into it. There's a need for career and volunteers across the state. Um, we, we hear a lot about the volunteers, and that's a huge part of our, the majority of our firefighters across the state are volunteers, and, and they are working hard to try and increase their ranks, um, and not everybody has the time to devote. We're, we're trying different ways to training. Different, different ways to train so we can increase their, their training and make it as palatable as we can to get them to be able to protect their communities. So the size of the class is, is pretty similar. Um, the, the, how it's changed us most is the efficiency of time. Uh, the, to be able to, to walk out of the classroom and go put it to practice a few yards away uh, is huge and without a lot of delay, um, as opposed to being over in the fire, main fire academy and having the, the breakdown and travel all the way over here. Um, you, you all found your way here, but it was, it was you know, not, e not, not easy. So once we get them over here in the morning, we have them here until lunchtime, they go back and, and debrief and de-escalate their brains a little bit, have some lunch and come back right at it again in the afternoon and they're here. They're training right into the evenings for this class.